Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And Pete J. And we are looking down at the Overdogs here. The team that was uh, tied for, a four-way tie for last place last year has battled back this year and has made quite a run at it. And right now are in the wild card uh, run for the playoffs. But it is not a, a gimme. And they've had a kind of a tough second half of the season right now. The Dogs are in the middle of the pack in the Monster Division at 8-8. Eight, eight. But when you look at the standings, uh, what's more important is the wild card standings. The Crocodons are a game ahead. Overdogs are right behind them. And then they're also fighting for a place with the wide loads. Two of those teams are facing off with here in the schedule, Pete. Two games left, both on the road, today against the Dons, who are first in the league in our division. That's that's right. They got the one game, the one game advantage over us for the wild card spot. We're holding on to that second spot. But we're tied with the Arctics, and uh, the season, uh, the Arctics have not been good to us over the course of the season, and they've taken both games that uh, we've faced off against them. Um, and then uh, the final game of our season, we're going to be playing the Wide Loads, who are sitting currently only a half game out of that uh, second spot as well. So there are three teams battling over that last uh, wild card spot, and, and uh the overdogs have to help themselves by winning. They got to win out. Yeah. So this is not just a regular season game. This is basically a little bit of playoff baseball during the regular season. Uh, the, the overdogs made it really difficult on themselves last week when they lost that last game. They really needed to win that. And now they're in a position where they almost have to win both of these, at least this game against the Crocodiles. This is the pivotal game here. They dropped this game to the, the top team, and their chances are very slim about making the playoffs. I, I agree, and, and I would even go a little bit further and, and say that they have to win both of these games. They can't lose one of these games because, uh, like we stated, even the wild, if the wide loads win this week and then we go, uh, we wind up seeing them in the final week of the season, they, they could take that spot from us <laughs> just as easily as anybody else. So um, I think we have it over the Arctics because of our run differential. That's what's giving us the... Uh, the a superior spot because like i said we they beat us twice but uh we'll have to see maybe that run differential will be what uh what's uh, uh is the deciding factor and and we wind up taking it because of that but still i think the overdogs got to be thinking two wins here i think so too the overdogs where they got going from their speed demons so they got good speed on the play and they're good they got good power so we know they can put the offense together they haven't done it recently but uh, we know they're capable. They're going up against the Crocodons, who are the rotation aces. So they've got uh, starting pitching is really darn good. Relief pitching is solid. Um, and just by their record, they show this that why they're first first place in the division. Uh, they're going to the Overdogs going to be starting uh, Larry LeJoy on the mound. Joy's one and one with a four six four ERA and a one seven eight WHIP. He's uh, his 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 standout is mostly the motion he puts on the ball. He can put. He can put that ball, make it move, and uh, gets in front of batters and gets in their heads. That's true, and he's going to be, uh, he's got a uh, a uh, formidable foe on the other side there with Jovita Pulo, the right-handed pitcher for the Crocodons. She is juiced, and she is pitching out of her mind. <laughs> it's like her velocity, her junk, and her accuracy are, are far and away better than she's ever had in her career, so she's She's just, uh, she's, she's formidable. Uh, she's got a record of one and one with an ERA of 3.51 and a 1.01 whip. So she's going to be tough. She is. And she's got the, uh, she's got a bionic arm. Yeah. <laughs> Had a little television glitch there. Pardon me. Sorry about that. We kind of jumped to the desktop, but <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen during the game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then looking out of the notable players, the notable players for the dogs, the uh, the three ladies that uh, we usually see up there, we've seen up there all season. Pete, man, these you got Marsha Brown, who's uh, who's physically at her, at, at her peak. She's also hit way above her 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 norm with great power, great contact, great speed. She's 344 on the season with uh, four home runs, followed closely by Rhonda Horn, who's also locked in. They're both locked in, and uh, she's hitting 458 with four home runs, followed by Kasha Emin. At shortstop, 327 with two home runs. Uh, so the three of them combined, you know, you're looking at 10 home runs. Uh, hopefully we can boost that number up a little bit today. I think they're going to need it against those notable players on the Don Pete. Who are they? Uh, the notable players over uh, for the Crocodiles. L Drive at first base. She's hitting 220 with a home run. Uh, N Miyoshi 
in left field is juiced um, and the, she's uh, showing more power uh, having a con better connection and uh, a lot more speed than uh, she's shown over her career she's hitting 403 with three home runs and a candela at second base he's hitting 192 with two home runs so they may be rotation aces but uh, those uh, notable players don't really uh, can really strike fear into your heart except for Miyoshi who's having a heck of a career uh, a career season so yeah I saw on the table there in the lower left when they're talking about uh, top top performers in the league uh, our own catcher Anton Goodwood's got the best batting average in the league he's he's number one number five is Miyoshi there so okay. uh, that 403 average is the fifth best in the league so far yeah, but they still they offer up Candela at second with a 192. I mean, uh, I know he's got two home runs, but if yeah. that's one of your better players, that's yeah, that's kind of Yoshi, spooky. Yoshi also showing fourth for RBIs, so yeah, this is not going to be easy. But uh, no. looking at our starting lineup here, it looks like there's going to be one change, and it's right at the top, right at the front. El Rey action. It's a little bit tense recently. So uh, they're going to give Action a little bit of break here before the postseason. Uh, I know he's not happy about that because he wants to help get this team in the playoffs. Seeing as we're practically there already. But they're going to go with the with a solid backup, Rob Glover. Uh, Glover shows he's ready to play anytime, And uh, he's good He's good for the start today. He'll be at second base, the secondary position for him. Right behind him, Kasha Emin, second. She's uh, she's locked in. Uh, you got Ronda Horn at third base also locked in. Anton Goodwood's back behind the plate. Uh, we may see Perez in the next game, maybe not. But, uh, he and and Goodwood tend to get a little bit sore back there behind the plate, but um, right now it's Goodwood behind there. Marshall Brown, who's locked in and juiced at right field. First base, Roberto Gonz Rafael Gonzalez. It's Roberto's brother. <laughs> uh, Robin Yu in left field. Good to see him again. Yvette Victorino on fire in center field. And taking the bump, last but not least, Larry LaJoy, who's got the forefinger, the curveball, the slider. This, the SB, what's the SB, Pete? Screwball? Screwball, yes, sir. Screwball. Screwball and the changeup. Got a great repertorio. And it is good to be back here in the Midwest in Detroit City Motor Yard. That's right. Playing against those Crocodanos. Crocodanos. <laughs> Good day for a ball game, and it's going to have to be game on right from the start from the dogs, Pete. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about the Crocodons lineup, would you? I certainly will. Uh, for the Crocodons, Pickle is at shortstop. G. Fruitwell, who's uh, struggling in center field. Hernandez, who's locked in in right field. Leonary in his catcher. Drive at first base. Candela at second. T. Lee at third base. And then uh, the two more players. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in the top of the first, Rob Glover, Kasha M, and Ronda Horn. They're going to face off against Ovido Pulo, who has got an ERA of 3.51, and she is on fire. Rowdy this crowd here today. I was going to say, this place is rocking. <laughs> they know what this game's about. Glover is hitting 313 on the season. First one's in there for a cold strike. Strike one. That one's a little high outside. One and one. Swing. Fouled off along the third baseline. One and two. Glover watches that one come in for a called third strike. No. And swept no, across the plate at kind of an angle, I guess, the way he didn't go for it. Kasha Emmett comes up now hitting 327 on the season. We'll see if Kasha got it. Those pitches come in there like fire. First one's in there for a strike, 0 oh, 1. Second one, she's late on 0 oh, 2. She's quickly down the count. And the third one's in there, jams her hands, which is a right foul. Quickly Owen, two, one out. That one's in her wheelhouse, and she swings and gets it up, but it's not far enough, and it's going to be caught in center field by Gordon Cootwell for the second out. Ron Horn steps in at 458 on the season with four home runs and 11 RBIs. Swing and fouled off along the third baseline. Strike one. Pulo's coming into play very quickly. Ground ball to the second baseman, picks up, throws to first to retire Horn. Three up, three down. Norton Pickle, Gordon Fruitwell, Juanita Hernandez. They're going to take a look at Larry LaJoy, who's throwing, uh, got an ERA of 4.64. Not what we'd hoped for earlier. No, we're going to have to have Pulo throwing a heck of a lot more pitches. Pickle's hitting 267 on the season. 
He's uh, playing shortstops for the Crocodile today. First pitch from LaJoy popped up. Catcher's out just in fair territory and makes the grab for the first out. Goodwood now retires. Field. That guy, Gordon Fruitwell. <laughs> <laughs> I kept wanting to say Fruitwell, but I've gone, no, Fruitwell's up now. Okay, so that one's in there. It's ball, ball one, one and oh. One out. Fruitwell's playing center field. Swing and a miss for the Crocodiles today. Eubens up to count, one and one. Larry LaJoy delivers and a smash into center field. Bounces right in front of Victorino for a clean single. Man on first, one out. Juanita Hernandez is hitting 352 with a home run and eight RBIs. There's a lot of speed at first base. We're going to have to keep our eyes on that. Hernandez is playing right field for the Crocodiles. That pitch is a little inside for a called ball. Ball one. That one's a little high. Ball two. Two and oh. One out. Swing. Popped up out of play along the third baseline. That's a souvenir. Two and one. First uh, runner at first. Swing. Another one fouled off into the stands along the third baseline. Evens up to count. Two and two with one out in the bottom of the first. Fernandez waits on LaJoy. Swing and a rolling bunt. And they get her at first. Just barely. It was kind of a swinging bunt, and uh, LaJoy had to chase in to get it. And was able to throw her out. Hernandez out barely. That one's in there high. Ball one. Terry Leonieri, the catcher, has stepped into the batter's box. That one's in there for a called strike. One and one. Two outs. Runner at second. Hernandez has moved to second. Outside. Ball two. Two and one. LaJoy delivers high, three and one. Hitter's pitch here. It's in there for a called strike. Three and two, two outs, bottom of the first. And there's a roller to third base. Ronda Horn picks it up and throws to Gonzalo to retire the sides. Anton Goodwood, Marsha Brown, Rafael Gonzalo, Going to take a first look at Pulo, who threw two pi ten pitches in that first inning and got one strikeout. Here we go. Get the bats now going. Goodwood's hitting 560 with two home runs and 10 RBI. That's the guy you want at the plate. Goodwood's looking good. Crushes that one. Gets all that first pitch. It's going deep back off the wall. He's going to get into second base easy with the double. And hold up there. Great double to lead off by Anton Goodwood. He's in scoring position, Pete. Yes, he is. And Marsha Brown stepping in. She's juiced. Hitting 344 on the season with four home runs and 11 RBI. First pitch is high for a ball. Ball one. One's low for a ball. Ball two. And there's a smash down the first baseline. And that's a home run. All right. <laughs> That's the way you want it to start. There's the conning towers in the back. <laughs> Marshall Brown's fifth home run and 12th RBI of the season. Now batting number 10. Oh, uh, that was the wrong pitch to the right girl. It certainly was. <laughs> Here comes Rafael Gonzalez at 94. Now he's excited. He wants to show if he can play too, Ma. That one's off the wall. He's going for second, and it's going to be a slide in there double. And the dogs are putting together some offense, Pete. Yeah, they are. They're getting to the Pulo early. Robin Yu hitting 385 in the season with a home run and nine RBIs. Gonzalo standing at second. And there's a butt foul. One, strike one. That one's a little low. One and one. No outs in the top of the second. There's a smash hit into center field that's caught by the center fielder for the first down. Is returned safely to second. Now batting. Number Not too bad. Not bad too bad. Here comes Victor, Victorino on fire. Doing real well. They got to be a little bit concerned about Victorino at the plate. Ooh, that first pitch she saw it at the last second. Swinging that strike one. That one shits right past the mound. It's going to be going out to second base. 
and they're running for home, and she slides in and makes it beat. All right. Three nothing. Now batting. Victorino. Larry LaJoy, the pitcher's coming up. He's hitting 333 on the season with two RBIs. The uh, corners are in. First and uh, third are standing on on the uh, grass. It's going to be caught by the center fielder. Larry LaJoy gave it a ride. But it's pulled Boy, in. The dog. The dogs are getting the offense they need here right away, aren't they, Pete? Yes, sir. This is the offense that's been sadly missing for a while. Glover's 0 for 1. Beats is a little early. Pop looks that one up. It's going to be caught by the catcher, Terrell, who runs out and gets three down. But the overdogs put three on them in the top of the second. Coming up in the uh, bottom of the second, lane drive, Andre Candela and Trisha Lee. LaJoy threw 15 pitches in that first inning. Now batting, number 15, the first baseman. Leon Drive, 220 on the season. She's a real good contact hitter, not a ton of power, but uh, LaJoy has got to be somewhat cautious. Their pitch is the first pitch outside, ball one. Second pitch delivery, that one's inside, and it's going to go foul. One apiece, low pressure situation, bottom of second, 3 nothing over dogs. That's a curveball there. It's going to line drive right in the glove of Robin Yu, thankfully. And one down. Now back, All right. Number 19, the second baseman. Andre Candela comes up. He's hitting 192 on the season. Not too much to worry about, but he's got solid stats. So I think he's just a little out of sorts this season. Candela's got a little motion in his stance. He goes oh. for that first one and tags it right up the middle. It's going to go to Victorino in center field. They're going to hold up at first for single. And the Crocodons have one on. Number 12, the third base. Okay. Trisha Lee comes up hitting 243 on the season. And uh, LaJoy's going to throw a crosser. His 20th pitch comes inside. The screwball misses 1 0 the count. That one's a slider on the outside corner and misses as well. Ball 2, 2 0. That one's popped up and it's going into shallow right field. And underneath it, oh, is Rob Glover. Was back baseman. to the infield. <laughs> yes, he traveled out there to get that, and it wasn't quite sure. Never looked confident about that. Here she comes, Pete. Niori Miyoshi. He's got to be careful throwing to her. She's got good contact. Takes that first pitch in there for a strike. Crocodons fans are on their feet because they know what she can do. And that one's going to left field and running underneath it is Robin Yu to get that third out. All right. Three up, three down. <laughs> Kasha Emin, Rhonda Horn, Anton Goodwood. Uh, coming up in the top of the third, Javita Pulo has thrown 23 pitches with one strikeout, giving up four hits. Her ERA is up to 4.23. Emin's 0 for 1 on the day. Pulo delivers. In there for a called strike. Runs in there for a called strike, too. There's a smash to the shortstop. He picks it up, double pumps, makes the throw to first to retire Emmett. Now batting, number 20. I don't think she was too base. crazy about those first two pitches, but I thought she had the swing of the last one. Here comes Ron Horn. Is it four, fifth? She likes that pitch, but just a little late. Pushes it out on the left Oof. side. Right. Ooh, that second one's a bad one. She swings over the one, two. That one's in the same spot, almost jams her, but she fouls it off. Now she's swinging defensively. That one's in there, and she tags it, but it goes right out in the center field where Gordon Kubel drags it in for the second out. Anton Goodwood, one for one with a double, hitting 569 with two home runs. Pulo's at 30 pitches. Oh, and that first one's in there for a called strike. Oh, and one. Swing and fouled off along the third baseline. Oh, and two. There it is. Up the middle of second baseman ranges over and is able to Pick it up and throw to first to retire Goodwood. So three up, three down. Overdogs holding on to a three to nothing lead. They've out hit the Crocodons 4-2. Hovita Pulu coming up for her first time at bat. Norton Pickle and Gordon Fruitwell. Going to step in against Larry LaJoy. Pulu's hitting 0 0.091. She pitches better than she hits. <laughs> LaJoy delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Pulo out in front of that one. The Joy's thrown 25 pitches. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Pulo in the hole. Owen two. The bottom of the third. 
That's three, called strike three. Pula will have a seat, one out. Norton Pickles 0 for 1, hitting 262 on the season with one home run. Crocodon fans are charged up back there. That one's in there for a called strike. That one's smoked in there. That was smoking. He's still looking for it. There's popped up in the foul territory. Still Toronto looking Horn for it. is over there to make the grab and retire Fruitwell. No, nope, it's not Fruitwell. Gordon Fruitwell is up now. Well, he's the one Fruitwell with a single. Well, then let's just retire him, shall we? Yes, let's do that. Two outs. Bottom of the third. That first one's in there. Low. Ball one. Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, is tense. That's in there for a called strike. Evens up the count. One and one. LaJoy delivers. In there for a called strike two. Didn't get it. He didn't even get the bat off his shoulder. One and two. Swing. Tapped along the first baseline. Out, out of play. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's two K's in this nice inning. Enjoy. Yeah, Marsha Brown, Rafael Gonzalo, and Robin, you going to come up. Marsha Brown's one for one with a home run. Gonzalo's one for one with a double. You is 0 for one. Pulo has thrown 33 pitches and given up four hits. Now batting number 49, the right fielder. Here she comes. Marsha Brown, one for one with that two-run jack in the early game. Right. Whoa, she was a little eager there. Swing. Swing on a strike one. That second one's in the same spot. She pushes it left to Norton Pickle at shortstop and throws her out at first. You got a little bit of drop frames there. Rafael Gonzalez, one for one with a double. He's hitting 308. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Pulo does not waste time coming to the plate. Past the third baseman. The shortstop is there. But not in time, Gonzalo runs it out. Nice infield single. Robin, you struggling a little bit, trying to get back in it. He's 0 for 1 right now. First pitch in there, he tags it deep or tall. It's tall to left field. And Miori Miyoshi is going to pull that in. Got no place to go. Two down. Two outs, top first base. Yes, sir. Yvette Victorino, one for one with a single and an RBI. She's hitting 418 with five home runs. Hi, pop fly in the center field. Under it is Fruitwell who makes the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down. I know, we got a hit. Uh, Juanita Hernandez, T Tara Leonary, and Lane Drive. Are going to come up for the second time against Larry LaJoy. All of them 0 for the day. Now batting, number 10, the it's right nice field. to see. Juanita Hernandez 0 for 1, 345. I remember Hernandez last time we played out in California. She did, I think she did well that way. Takes the first strike in there. Only one to count. Bottom of the fourth, 3 nothing over dogs. LaJoy throwing his 36 pitch. Delivered. She catches that one. Oh, and it just goes past uh, Gold at second base. And she's going to get a single. Now single. Batting, number 31, <laughs> the catcher. Terry Leonero for 1, 348. She's mostly a power hitter. That one she anticipated. She pulls that one left. Good power on it, but it's a foul. One one to count. That one's in the outside corner, and she doesn't go for it. One apiece. There's the steal, the throw, and not quite in time, and she's going to get that one. And she's safe at second base. Runner at second. No outs. Inside. That one's on the inside corner. Ball two. Two and two to Leonera. I really enjoy having thrown his 41st pitch. She smashes that one down the left side. Foul. Two and two still. There's a curveball. She's going to pop that one up. There's a good pitch selection. Running underneath it is Marsha Brown. And she's going to tag up and run the third. The runner for the Crocodons. They got a runner in scoring position. 15, the first baseman. Leon Drive is 0 for 1, but she's a solid contact hitter with only one out. They got to be careful. First pitch is in there. Swing and miss. Strike one. The infield is going to guard the line. Low pressure situation. That one's inside and it's going to go into left field. Yeah. Diving catch, but she's going to tag up and run home. And two down. One run for the Dons. The fans are on their feet now. 
Great Andre catch Con out there in right field. Thank you, Andre Condella. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying thing. I didn't do anything. <laughs> First pitch in there for a strike. Oh, one. Count. Bottom of the foot, 3 1 over dogs. There's a curveball, which he's throwing so well. Strike two. He's way ahead in the count now. Let's see what he throws him next for his 47th pitch right here. He swings and goes for it. Uh oh, got a glitch. I got a glitch. No, Didn't throw it. No, no, okay. I just saw black and then stood there. Huh. All right, well, runner at first of two outs. Low pressure situation. Trisha Lee at the at the plate. Good contact, Trisha hit her lead. She hits it down the third base side. They're going to simple out at first base and then that. I'm getting some chugging too. The thing, I mean, it's not very fluid. No. All right. Larry LaJoy, Rob Glover, Kasha Ammon. They're going to take a second look at uh, Jovita Pulo, who's thrown 39 pitches. He's got one strikeout. Now Larry LaJoy's 0 for 1. He's in 286 with two RBIs. Not a great day for these next three batters, but maybe they can put something on here. LaJoy takes his first pitch in there for a strike. Second pitch is a little high. He swings a little bit late. 0 and 2. He pops that one up inside, and it's going to be a looper to right field. Juanita Hernandez pulls it in for that first down. Now batting, number 30. Rob Glover's 0 for 2 on the day, hitting 278. Chewing his gum like crazy. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's wow. popped up in the right field. Right fielder comes over, makes the catch. Two quick outs. The Juanita Hernandez show out there. Number right. Looks that way. Gosh, Evan comes Come on, up. over doggies. Over two. Let's see. She's got to be patient. Oh, she is not patient. Sweet. Let's strike one. That one she gets, but it's going to roll right to Pickle at shortstop, who's going to throw her out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Going into the bottom of the fifth. Nori Miyoshi, 0 for 1. Jovita Pulu, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And Norton Pickle, 0 for 2. The Joy has thrown 48 pitches with two strikeouts, giving up four hits. His ERA is at 4.26. Number 32. Yoshi's 0 for 1 with a 397. Three home runs, 17 RBIs on the season. Yoshi's She's dangerous. doing it. Inside. inside. Ball 1. 1 and 0. Those Crocodile fans haven't sat down all game. No. Popped up into shallow. Oh, and it drops foul. Oh. <laughs> well, at least oh. it dropped. You know? In foul territory. That one's in there for called second strike. One and two against Miyoshi. LaJoy looks, looks to put her away. Foul Popped ball. up foul out of play along the third baseline. One and two. We'll set him up and do it again. The pitch. Roll to Kashem and it's short. Picks up, makes the throw to Gonzalo to retire. Now Miyoshi. Number 27, one out. Ovita Pulu. 0 for 1, hitting .083. One out, bottom of the fifth. Overdogs with a 3-1 lead over the Crocodiles. That pitch was in there for a cold strike. Strike one. Joey delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike two, 0-2. Pulo in the hole quickly. Joy fooled her completely with that one. She swings and misses for call for the third batting, strike. 11, two outs. Norton Pickle, the shortstop. Leadoff hitter. Steps in there. Two outs. Bottom of the fifth. Pickle's feeling neutral. That one's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Joy gets the signal. Delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Norton Pickle in the hole. 0-2 oh, quickly. Joy to Kashi makes the throw and throws him out. Three outs. Good defense there, doggies. Yes, sir. We're seeing a return to form a little bit. Ronda Horn 0 for 2. Anton Goodwood 1 for 2 with a double. Marsha Brown 1 for 2 with a home run. Pulu has thrown 45 pitches and has an ERA of 3.82. Now batting. Ronda Horn's 0 for 2, hitting 443 with four home runs and 11 RBIs. She's taking a look at Jovita Pulu there. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Ronda Horn in the hole quickly. Uh, ball one. One and two. Oh, oh that one was outside, but she couldn't lay off. Strike three. Now back, number 15. 
the catch. Anton Goodwood, one for two with a double. 558. You didn't read that wrong, folks. That's the right number. Takes the first 96 mile an hour. She's already going. It's her 50th pitch, 96 miles an hour. Right back to the mound. Two outs. Now batting. Marsha Brown, one for two. She's got that two run homer. Put us out in front. Looking at the uh, shot up the middle in the center field. That's a clean single. Brown going to be standing at first. That'll bring now Rafael Gonzalez to the plate. The first two eight. for two with a double and a single. A couple, of, a couple of home runs on the season. First pitch in there inside the corner. They call it a strike one. There she goes for second. Second one's a ball. There's the throw, and she makes it safe. Gets that bag, Pete. And now we got a runner in scoring position. Outside corner that gets into the gap, and she's going to go. She's going to stay. Actually, good good move staying at third base, runs at the corners. Robin Yu, 0 for 2, hitting 370 on the season. we got runners at the corners, first and third. Two outs, top of the sixth. First pitch is in there. It's high, all one. And there's a shot into left center field. Everybody should be running, should be running. Robin Yu standing at second, two oh. runs across the plate. Nice. Boy, what a, what a time to see Robin Yu finally show back up. Yes, sir. I bet Victorino one for two, and the Overdogs have a nice lead now, five to one, top of the six. First pitch is swinging to miss. The Victorino second pitch, she tags to left field. It's near the warning track, but the Ocean's going to pull it up to the third out. And they have a commanding lead, Pete. Yes, sir. 5-1 going into the bottom of the six. Overdogs with, uh, have out hit the Crocodiles 8-4. Gordon Fruitwell, one for two with a strikeout. Juanita Hernandez, one for two. And T Tara Leonary. Now batting. Who I believe is one for two. Fruitwell is one for two with a single. He's hit 286 on the season. He is a little bit tense. Or, or look a little tense out there. Low pressure situation, though. First pitch in there for a strike. A 60th pitch, Larry LaJoy. Still got gas in the tank. Still throwing good good junk on the ball. Second pitch the outside corner strike. And Fruitwell has yet to swing at the, the ball. He may swing there. And a bad pitch, and he does. Strike three, three pitch strikeout. Way to go, LaJoy. Still, still throwing it. Yes, sir. Juanita Hernandez, one for two in a single earlier in the game. She's locked in and fit. Swings and a miss, and the first one, strike one. Dangerous hitter, Hernandez. The second pitch she gets a hold of, but she puts it in the dugout. 0-2, he's got head over in the count. We'll see what he throws her for number 65. The curveball, oh, no. good choice. It's going deep to left center field, and it's back, and couldn't quite be grabbed. And that one's out of here, folks. Hernandez knocks that one off the left field wall, 394 feet. The fireworks announce her second home run in ninth RBI of the season. Single home run which gives the dogs their second run of the game. Carol Yanair, 0 for 2 of the day. The Crocodons catcher looks angry as she swings that first one. Just in front of the mound, but they're going to get her in time for out number 2. Two down. Number 15, the first base. And on drive is over one on the day. The first baseman, a solid contact hitter is drive. Um, crouches in. Here's the pitch. The curveball. She pushes that one deep to left field, and that's going to be out of here as well. Two home runs. Drive shows what she can do. She hits that one off the far left field wall, 380 feet. Her 12th RBI of the season and second home run. And the dogs put another one up. Number 19, the second baseman. Andre Condell is two for two, with two singles. Takes the first pitch in there for a strike. We got two outs, 0-1, bottom of the six, 5-3 now, overdogs. That one oh, goes come on. fair. It goes fair. Oh my gosh, and it's gonna be, he's rounding second base. He's gonna stay at second. We're gonna hold him up there for a double. And things are starting to unravel a little bit here for the overdogs. Yeah. Trisha Lee, 0 for two. And I think uh, LaJoy just wants to get out of this inning, but it doesn't look like they're going to let him. One pitch shy of 70. Wow. Well, now they're, they're just, they just they just had to talk with him. Oh, right, but that's, that, yeah, that's someone, that was dumb. Someone gets it in center field. And, and they're going to get that run in. 
Yeah, it's now a one-run game. Come on. And here comes Nori Miyoshi. Nori Miyoshi, and they're gonna they're gonna motion to the bullpen. I think that's all we're gonna see from LaJoy, who's now tense. Through 70 pitches, threw very well for most of the game, <clears throat> but the overdogs are in a tight spot here. Number 31. And we're gonna see Braun Thunderchump. Thunder coming to the mound. Thunder chumps in a medium pressure situation. He throws a four-finger fastball, a curveball, and a changeup. And that's all he needs, really. Good stamina, and he's ready to play here. Runner on first. That one goes hit straight to the third baseman, Rhonda Horn. And he's going to be out before she's a third of the way to the bag. Whew. Horrible, horrible inning. Um, Braun Thunderchump is going to be uh, leadoff, and then we'll have Rob Glover, who's 0 for 3 with a strikeout, and Kasha Emmett, who's 0 for 3. Pulo's thrown 59 pitches and got two strikeouts. Now batting, number Thunderchump hitting 333 on the season. Pulo's first pitch popped up into left field. Left fielder is chasing and is able to get under it and make the catch. Number 30 for the first the out. Not a bad hit though. Rob Glover's 0 for 3 today. Glover coming in relief of uh, Elroy action. All you did so far. 0 and 1 the count. One out. Check swing. That one's a ball. Good, good patience there. One apiece. That one he likes and he hits it hard, but he just doesn't have enough to get it out of here, Pete. And at the warning track, Miyoshi brings it in. It's my entire day. Long pop-offs. <laughs> Kasha Yaman 0 for 3, hitting 310. Come on, Kasha. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's about it. We're gonna. We're gonna let Kasha hit. Two outs, top of the seventh. Swing and a miss. Again, I don't know what is with the lag. Slow oh. roller to the first baseman makes the catch and runs over and takes it herself to retire the side. Three up, three down. This is a game, folks. Overdogs oh. 5, Crocodons 4, as we look at Hovita Pulu, Norton Pickle, and Gordon Fruitwell. Pulu is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Pickle's 0 for 3. Now batting number 27. She's juiced. Pulu is juiced. Oh, they're going to pull Hovita Pulu in favor of pinch hitter Clifford Kane. Clifford Kane has a little bit better than average power, a little bit better than average contact, and he's a little bit, uh, he's got, he's about average speed. So, uh, try to get a base runner out of this. First pitch from Thunderchumps, a little low, ball one, one and oh. Fooled him completely, popped up behind home plate. Goodwood is out, makes the catch. The pinch hitter is retired. Norton Pickle, 0 for 3 on the day with uh, hitting 254. One out bottom of the seventh. Overdogs holding on to a 5 4 lead. Inside. Pitch from Thunderchump is inside for a ball. Ball one. Outside. A little outside. Ball two, 2 and 0. Oh. No. A little low. Ball three. Thunderchump is in the hole, 3-0. Oh. Wow. That one's fouled off along the third baseline. 3-1. and One, one out. Foul ball. That's fouled off along the first baseline. Full count, 3-2. and two. Side pitch popped up into center field. Yvette Victorino's calling everybody off. She's under it, makes the catch to retire Fruitwell, who's 0 for 4. I mean, well, this is Fruitwell. Pickle, is it? Pickle is the leadoff guy. <laughs> Gordon Fruitwell, the center fielder, is tense, and he's going to get pulled in favor of Bubba Blastman. Bubba Blastman has a fairly good power, about average contact, and a below average speed. So he can hit the ball deep if he needs to. Under jump against Blastwell. Ground ball to Kasha and picks up, throws to Gonzalo to retire Blastwell. Clifford Kane, the pinch hitter, is going to be pulled for Woody Anno, the relief pitcher. Woody Anno um, has a little bit better than average velocity, uh, a little bit better than average junk, uh, but his accuracy suffers. He throws a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, and a slider. Anno is going to be looking at Rhonda Horn, who's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Anton Goodwood, who's 1 for 3 with a double. And Marsha Brown, who's 2 for 3 with a home run. 
Enno has a 7.30 ERA. Now batting number 20. Horn, who's feeling base. neutral. So for three on the day. Now at center field is Yoshi and left field Blastman. The first one's in there for a ball. One and the guy. Wow. That one she likes and she pulls it hard to the right. Foul. One apiece. Top of the eighth, 5 4. That one's a pitch out. Tried to get, I don't know what that was about. Oh. The ball. Ball three, three and one on the count. Let's see if he comes in with a strike. He does. She hits it right up the middle, and that's going to be a clean single. You know, she picks it up and holds it up at first. Good offense so far, Dodge. I really want to put another one on the board here. Dude. Yes, sir. Me too. Anton Goodwood, one for three with a double. He's hitting 547. Pitch is in there from Anno for a called strike. Strike one. Allen's outside. One and one. Wow. Fouled off along the third baseline. One and two. That one's in the dirt. Two and two. Outside. Ball three. Three and two. Base. Uh, they've walked Anton Goodwood. Anno seems to be struggling. Marsha Brown. Two for three with a home run. Locked in. Runners at first and second with no outs. This is an extreme pressure situation. Brown goes for that one, hits it foul. Inside. Second one's in there for ball. One apiece. Foul. That one's high and inside, she goes for it, hits it foul, one and two. Oh, that one Pete. she hits, it's gonna be popped up on the left field side, and I think it's gonna be caught oh. by Trisha Lee. One down, that's only the first out though. No. Rafael Gonzalo, no. who's hitting three for three with a double, two singles. Hitting 333 on the season. That one's outside, ball one. That's into the ga into the center field. Oh, I hit, okay. <laughs> Should have hey, picked up, up one three. there, but. Uh, That's all right, Runner base is loaded. Robin Yuka is up one for three. It's an extreme pressure situation, only one out. He takes the first pitch in there for a strike. This is, this is a tough situation for the Crokinons. They need solid pitching, and it doesn't look like they're getting it from Anno. He's got no, sir. two and one, 20 pitches already, 21 Inside. pitches. He's facing three and one. You shouldn't swing at this. But he does, and he hits it to left center field, and it's into the gap. Go, and go, go, it, go. He's going to be rewarded. Everybody's going, everybody's going, everybody's going, everybody's going. All right, all right, all right. Base is clearing double. Almost. Almost. Yes, double, double, yes, yes, yes. Yvette Victorino, one for three with a single. Uh... Who's that? Oh. Uh, is that you at second? That one's low. Yes. That's into into um, left field, out of the reach of the um, third baseman. Robin Yu is able to come around and score, making the score nine four overdogs. Ron Thunderchuck stepping in. An offensive okay. inning. They're crazy. Yes, they got sir. the runs. In. This game looks like it's securely in their hands. Thunderchuck, the pitcher, is a line drive to Trisha Lee. For that second out. Still up. <laughs> the two outs. Rob Glover steps in. He's 0 for 4 on the day. Hitting 250. That one's in there for a cold strike. Strike one. That's in the center field. It's going to drop in front of the center fielder for a clean single. Runners at first and second with two outs. Gosh, Emmons. Gosh, Emmons 0 for 4 today. But this is a good position to be in. It's a great time to go sure. one for five. Swings and misses the first pitch. All in one to count. It's now a medium pressure situation. Second pitch is a ball. One apiece. Top of the eighth. Nine four. She pulls that one down the line. That's going to be in there fair, Pete. And they're going to get another, at least another run. Maybe two. They got a runner coming home. And they're going to, oh, they're going to throw her out at third base. But they got an additional run. Two runs. Yes, sir. They exploded there for six runs in the top of the eighth. The Overdogs with 11-4 lead. Juanita Hernandez, two for three with a home run. Tara Leonair, 0 for three. And then there'll be a third batter, too, that I didn't see. Hernandez is two for three. Home run single and an RBI. Oh, and I'm pitching again. Thunder Trump's got a lot of stamina. He's only thrown 10 pitches. His 11th pitch there. And, boy, the Crocodons had fought back to make this a game. We're close to to really get them back in it, the first place team in the division. But it really kind of fell apart there. 
in that last inning that the no, Overdogs, we saw offense from them that we haven't seen all season, Pete. Well, First not thing. since not since the beginning, that's for sure. Um, the, the bats have been silent. Oh, Jesus, come on. Uh, and there she gets one deep to right field and oh. caught at the wall. Two down. Number 15, the first baseman. Leon Drive is one for two on the day, but one of those won was a home run, Pete. She's a solid contact hitter with a good amount of power. First pitch on the inside corner. She watches it come in there. Strike one. Home on the count. Low pressure situation with Thunder Chump. He gets that one, but it goes straight to Glover at second base, and he's going to get an easy out to end the side. All right. 11-4. <clears throat> Overdogs with 14 hits. The Crocodiles with eight. Coming up at the top of the ninth, Rhonda Horn, one for four. Anton Goodwood, one for three. And Marsha Brown, two for four. Anos thrown 30 pitches. Now batting, number 20, the third base. Rhonda Horn's one for four with a single. She's playing third base for the Overdogs, back in her own position. Fouled off along the first baseline, only one. That's outside, ball one and one. Reaches out and pushes that along the, to the shortstop. And picks it up, makes the throw to first to retire. Now number 15. Anton Goodwood, one for three with a double and a walk. And they're not going to pitch, Anno's not going to pitch the Goodwood. He's leaving the game right now. Yes, one sir. What do you know? Yes, they're looking at Ricky McFarland. McFarland's going to come in here. He's got good velocity, puts a lot of movement on the ball. And he's fairly accurate. He's got the forefinger and the slider. Those are his pitching repertoire. He's getting ready to deliver here. First pitch on the inside corner, strike one. Good. Second pitch, same spot. Goodwood tags it this time to Norton Pickle. And short step is going to throw him out for that second out. <laughs> Marsha Brown is locked in and juice. She's two for four with a home run, a single, two RBIs, two out. Stop in the ninth. That one's high and inside, ball one. That's high, ball two. I think they may be swinging with strike one. Two and one. Fouled off along the third baseline. Two and two. That one's outside. Three and two. Walked. She walked on six pitches. Now batting number 10, the first baseman. Rafael Gonzalo Pete, four for four. <laughs> we haven't seen Gonzalo in a while, but he's here today, and he runs Six. it out. Five for five, Pete. What's with him today? Holy cow. Robin Yu, two for four with two doubles and five RBIs. He's hitting 393 on the season. Runners at first and second with two outs. Fouled off that first pitch, 0-1. In the dirt, 1-1. One one. Robin Yu up the middle. We're going to get another run here as the runner from second is able to come around and score. Number 20. Oh gosh. The <laughs> Victorino on fire. Two for four. And, uh, what a game. Two, I hope they don't use it all up before the playoffs. She pops that one up to deep Me right too. field. But it's going to be caught by Juanita Hernandez and, and that side. Yes, Ooh. sir. Uh, bottom of the ninth. Andre Candela, three for three with a double. Trisha Lee, one for three. And Nori Miyoshi, who's 0 for three. Thunderchump's thrown 15 pitches. His ERA is at 7.53. Now batting, number 19, the second. Do we go with the closer? I don't know if we need to. Thunderchump's really kind of. Okay. Kind of put him away here. If we lose 13 12, I would have ran. That one's. <laughs> Low ball one. Thunderchump delivers. Low. Low ball two, two and oh. Thunder Chump quickly in the hole. Fouled off. On the first baseline out of play. Two and one. That's in there for a called strike. Two and two. It looks like you're starting to see some seats here, Tommy. Oh. I think we might see some, uh, maybe some fans have given up on the Crocodons today. <laughs> that one's through the middle into center field for a clean single. Candela's at first. Number 12. Trisha Lee, one for three with a single and an RBI. Candela's got some speed at first base. We'll have to keep an eye on him this late in the game. Oh, get back. Oh, oh. oh. line drive line, to first base. Now batting. Now yeah, line two. drive to first the base at the, uh, and then a foot race back to the bag to see if we could get the double play. But they didn't. One out. Candela's still at first. Miyoshi, the dangerous. Standing in uh, plate, swing and a miss, strike one. 
On a jump delivers, that's in there for a called second strike. Miyoshi in the hole, 0-2. Oh that's a little low, ball one, one and two. Slow roller to first base, they were unable, it was a hit and run, so they were unable to get the runner going to second, but they were able to get Miyoshi at first for the second out. Ricky McFarland, the closing pitcher, is going to be pulled for Evan Chukov, a pinch hitter. Chukov has a little bit less than average power, average contact, and less than average speed. Poor, poor speed. Two outs. Candela at second. Pitch from Thunderchumps, a little low ball, one. Swing. And a line drive to third base. Overdogs win. Overdogs win. Oh, God, it feels good to say that, Tommy. <laughs> feels good to say that. The Overdogs have pulled out a victory when they needed it most against the team they needed to beat. So, Yes, the division team leader. So they, they not only make up ground for the division runnings, but they, they get look pretty good for that wild card race. And on top of that, Pete, the run differential. The run differential is huge on a day like today, and that's going to also factor into that wild card spot. Yes, sir. Whose gold statue is that in the outfield? Did you see that? Yeah, I don't even know. Huh. I should know. We should look that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. And we're looking at the the uh, looking at the scorecard here. You got uh, the the Overdogs put three on the board in the second, and they never looked back. Um, got a little shaky in the sixth. But then they tacked another six on, 12 to four. Six, out hitting the Crocodon 16 to nine. So. Yeah, boy, strong start, even stronger finish. Uh, yeah. Looking at some of the stats they put up there, you know, you got uh, Robin Glover was only one for five, Ron Horn one for five, but Roberto Gonzalo comes in five for five. Yeah. Robin Yu, three for five. Those are a couple names we haven't seen much of. Uh, looking no. at trying to get back in the lineup, and boy, did they. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at Marsha, you go Marsha Brown, Roberto, uh, Rafael Gonzalo, Robin Yu, and Yvette Victorino. You know, that's murderer's row right there. I mean, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. On the other side, Pickle goes 0 for 4. Leonardo goes 4 for 4. Miyoshi goes 4 for 4. Pete Miyoshi went 4 for, for 4. Yeah, I mean, that's that that's be. what hurt you. That's your best player right there going 0 for 4. Leonari's hitting 327, 0 for 4. Blastman, 375, he was 0 for 1. So, yeah, anybody hitting 300 just was a no-show today. And I, I credit that mostly to the pitching. I mean, I think Larry LaJoy was on pretty well. And then uh, Thunderchump did a heck of a job in, in relief. So, Sure did. And there we are looking at the pitching. LaJoy gets the win. He threw 5.2 innings. Uh, eight hits off and four earned runs, four strikeouts. A lot of that came in two home runs. A lot of that came late for him, yeah. but he still holds on and gets the win. He's two and zero or two and one on the season. And uh, Thunderchump comes in for the save, throws three point one innings. It's only one hit off him. Pete, three point one innings. He only got one hit off him. I'll take it. <laughs> to his second save of the season. Yes, sir. And then uh, on the other side, uh, Juanita Pulo, their their powerhouse uh, pitcher. She pitched seven innings, gave up eight hits, five earned, and uh, had two strikeouts, gave up a home run. She leaves with an ERA of 4.13 and a record of uh, one win, two losses. Uh, Willie Anno came in, pitched a, an inning and a third. He gave up six hits, six earned runs, a walk. He walks out of here with an ERA of 10.54. And then uh, McFarland came in and pitched two-thirds of an inning, gave up two hits. This is their closer. He mm. pitched to two hitters, gave up two hits, one earned run, and a walk. His <laughs> ERAs had 5.4 and a record of one win, one loss, and four saves. So uh, not a good outing for him. He did not look good today at all. No, no. And uh, in the Detroit City here, what are the top three players of the game, Pete? They're all dogs. They are all dogs, and they uh, starting off. Robin Yu had a couple days off rest, and he showed he is fresh. He uh, went three for five, had two doubles, six RBIs. He he had six <laughs> RBIs, which was half of the total, uh, and he scored a run. That's nuts. I don't believe it. There's gonna be. <laughs> 
type. <laughs> Marsha Brown follows him closely, the right fielder. She was two for four with a home run, two RBI, three runs, and a stolen base. And closing it out, our man Rafael Gonzalo. Again, back to form. Uh, that was one of the big things when we early in the season. Every 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 game we were talking about Rafael Gonzalo, Rafael Gonzalo, and then toward the middle we, he just kind of disappeared. So uh, he sat himself, took himself out of the game. So Gonzalo goes five for five. He had a double and he scored three runs. So uh, good day for Rafael Gonzalo. Good day for everyone. Contribution pretty pretty good there. Good yes, sir. yes, sir. We both had eight hits. Yes, you had the home run. We both had six RBIs. You had a great catch and a stolen base, three strikeouts. I only had one strikeout. So. No bean batters. That's a good thing. Nobody got hurt during the production of this of this game. <laughs> Post game show. Post game show. Well, we're going to have to see the results of some of these other games. This is nail biter territory here. We did what we had to do, though. We had to win, and we did. So, water we bullets, did. wide loads. You know, and how'd it go, Pete? Wide loads jump out. Oh, they hand the water bullet to mm. defeat, and then you got wide loads nemesis and Pete. The wide loads fall to the nemesis right. eight seven. Crocodons and the nemesis. Nemesis oh. take it five two. That changes things. That changes the crocodons things. Crocodons have fallen. I'm gonna I'm gonna start again in the super conference beast division. Our old freebooters, old familiar team is ten and five. They got first place. Basically wrapped up their two games ahead of the Gold Coats, who are eight and seven, chasing close on their heels. That's true. And then down in the uh, Boss Division, the Sirloins um, have a eleven and five record, holding the first place by a game and a half over the Blowfish, who are ten and seven. Then you move on up to the Epic Division, and as as you would expect, it's the Water Bullets, who have their twelve and four. Uh, they're seven point seven five percent record. On the sea, they're four and a half games up ahead of the wide loads who have fought their way in there, who are eight and nine. They get, even with the losing record, they're still second place. Yes, sir. And then uh, in the monster division, the buzzards holding uh, first place with, with a record of 10 and seven. Um, while we, uh, the overdogs, are nipping at their heels, we're nine and eight and a game back. So uh, it's still pretty tight. It is. And, you know, theoretically, the overdogs could and could take the pennant on the on the season they could take the division lead if uh, they win this next game and the buzzards lose that's true yeah that's it's uh, the overdogs are definitely not uh out of first place they they we they they all they can do is win you know what i mean that's what they have to do they just have to keep winning so the game yeah. against the wide loads is is a big game you know uh they yeah. have to win this this game it is. We're looking. I'm looking at the season standings again. We go to the wild card standings, and right now the division, the super conference, the division leaders. You got the sirloins and the freebooters, pretty much, pretty much in it. You've got the uh, the blowfish who are a game back, and the gold coats who are right there, but um, it, that may be wrapped up in the super conference. Yeah, with a run differential of plus fourteen, and the next team behind them at minus seven. I don't see that. I don't think that the Moon Stars are going to be able to uh, make up that ground. No. And then in, over here, the Mega Conference, the division leaders, again, the Water Bullets and the Buzzards, uh, and the Oberogs just a half a game back. Crocodons in there as well. So the, the you know, the Crocodile, it looks like right now, the, you know, the Overdogs, have, they have a good shot. They want to win this next game, but they, they may be the top wild card. The Crocodons are fighting Pretty close with the Nemesis and the Arctics. Yeah, well, and then you get the wide loads. The wide loads really, I think, again, looking at the run differential because the uh, Crocodons at plus five, Nemesis and the Arctics at, well, the Nemesis are at plus one, Arctics are at minus one, so that's going to hurt them. But yeah. the wide loads at a plus four and a record of eight and nine, if uh, if they win the next game and the Crocodons lose the next game, the wide loads could swap out. Yeah, the wide loads could wind up leapfrogging over everybody and be and they could be sitting there. And that this is exciting Boy, what, times, folks. Exciting what a, times. What a uh, what a what a conference. 
Yes, division, sir. This uh, this division, it's coming right down to the line. I mean, when we looked at these last three games, we thought, oh, win the Platypi, lose to the Platypi, must win against the Crocodiles. Boy, did they 12-4. Now it's still, it's still. I mean, they're basically in the playoffs already. They got to hit the wide loads, end the season off next week, and then it's hopefully playoff baseball, Pete, where we're going to see some of these teams again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're going to be looking at And um, I can't remember how they did it. Um, I don't know if it's like uh, one and four, two and three, or what it, how, how we wound up doing it. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, that's part of the thing I'm looking forward to is how what the matchups are going to be. <laughs> it is. Well, the next week's matchup is going to be the Overdogs v Demons against the Wide Load Power Hitters. It's sure to be good when Chasey Kim's going to close out the season for us. He's going to go against Chase Holder. And, uh, boy, I mean, look at the fitness of our notable players. Everybody is juiced. Everybody is <laughs> juiced. Marsha Brown is locked in. Yvette Victorino is on fire and juiced. Um, Chasey Kim's juiced. <laughs> Chasey, yeah. And they're coming up against the wide load team. Holder close. Um, with a 5.2 far EF 5.24 ERA, and then in a, again Hicks at first with a 3.33 average liner at third base with a 2.55, and Gaspar at shortstop with a 2.46. So, yeah, I mean at this point the only thing the Overdogs can do is just win, baby, just win. You know, that's all yeah. they can do um, to help themselves. Outside of that, they got to hope for. A little help from others, but uh, yeah. the whole thing right now is just get to the to the uh, second season. You know, whatever yeah. you got to do, no holds barred, spare no, you know, spare, spare nothing. It's all about getting to that second season. So leave, leave it all on the field. Well, it's it's been exciting baseball. Can we continue on? And on that note, we're going to see you next week here closing out. This is Tommy G and Pete J. And we're saying happily, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next week.